Hi guys, so a big big welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is well. So for today's video, I have tried to recreate the Kim Kardashian Wet Met Gala look. Um, so yeah, she was at the Met Gala recently and she literally looked insane. She went for this kind of like glossy, glowy, wet hair and makeup look. So I've tried to recreate it today. Um, it was so much fun, I really enjoyed doing it and I'm actually really happy with how the look turned out. So if you want to know how I got this look and what products I used, then please keep watching and please, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. How cute. I literally love this. I got it from Home Bargains, I think it was. I went pretending to be Mrs Hinch for the day and I found this and I think it's so sweet. I love it. So I've just done my brows off camera and I've just set my um, eyes with the P. Louise base. How unreal was her makeup? How unreal just was she for the Met Gala this year? Ugh. Like she looked, all of them, like Kendall, Kylie, they all literally looked like amazing. Like unreal. I loved the makeup. It was beautiful. It was like that wet look. Kind of had like that halo eye going on. It was stunning. So I thought like, before you come for me, it's not, obviously it's not going to be the exact same. Um, you didn't do a product list. I don't know what products Mario used, but I mean the pictures that I've got, they're kind of far away. So I'm going to do like the best that I can. But yeah, I just really wanted to like give it a try because she looked amazing and I'm obsessed with the makeup look. So for the eyes, I'm actually going to use the uh, Anastasia Modern Renon Renaissance palette. Um, this is an oldie, but um, the first colour that I am going to go in with is this burnt orange shade, just on a 221 um, Zoeva brush. And I'm going to just start on the outer corner, really lightly, just kind of adding some colour. And we want to do the inner corner. I'm just adding a bit of the colour first and then I'm going to blend it away just with the brush that's got nothing on. I'm going to bring it right into like the tear duct. And this is a thing with all of like the Kardashian glams. It's just like beautiful makeup. It's none of this like crazy like Instagram makeup. That's amazing as well. Not discrediting that, but like the makeup is just beautiful that they use. Like it's stunning. So I'm trying to kind of leave like a bit of a gap here because obviously she had the shadow on either side. We are going to put like a glitter over it. So don't worry too much if you feel like your shadows go in there. It doesn't matter as much because we will cover that anyway so i am just now going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette is like honestly all these eyeshadows are such confusing names it's this one here it looks like tempura but it's not tempera this is just kind of like a bone whitey shade and i am just going to tap this down just in the center just kind of marking out where we're going to put that glitter again it doesn't need to be like too crazy neat I don't worry too much about it and i'm just going to go in on the sides i'm just going to start marking it out where the glitter is going to go just so when we come to do it it's going to be like a lot easier for us okay so we want to kind of get it to that and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going to use a 291 from Zoeva again. And I'm, and you, you can't speak. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is Ralga. And this is just like a gorgeous kind of orangey, ready, bricky colour. I'm only going to add little bit of this in each corner just to kind of build the colour up a little bit. Again, we don't want it to be too dark, too crazy. So we're just adding this in like little bits. So yeah, I did, I went to Manchester at the weekend, the bank holiday weekend. I had such a good time and I actually vlogged it. It was my first ever like 
vlog. I've been watching loads of like Madison and Hannah and I have just loved all of their vlogs of them like going out, getting drunk. Um, and I really like watching vlogs, just people doing their random like day to day stuff. And I feel like a lot of people as well really enjoy watching it. I actually um, filmed it as much as I could. Obviously I didn't bring my camera out, but I tried to film bits like on my phone throughout the night. Um, but yeah, I love Manchester so much. I had such a good weekend. So I'm gonna put that up like really soon. Um, it's just taken a bit longer to edit. Like vlogs do take a lot longer because I had like two hours of footage. I was thinking, oh, I've literally not filmed anything. And then when I came to edit it, I was like, oh, okay, I actually have filmed quite a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm just like editing all of that at the minute um but yeah that was really good fun i had such a good weekend i'm literally gonna just take the tiniest bit of red i'm just literally gonna point this one so i'm just gonna add again the tiniest bit on the outer just kind of on the lower part just to darken it up a little bit so i'm gonna just do like a smoky lash and i can't really tell from the picture if she has got a wing but i don't feel like she has i feel like it's more of just like a smokier lash line so what i'm gonna do is just take um a black eyeliner this is mac feline and i just take some on the back of my hand i just feel like you get a lot more of a smoky look and it's easier rather than drawing it right on the eye I'm just taking, this is a Zoeva 322 brow line pencil, pencil brush, <laughs> and I'm just taking that and I'm going to run it along the lash line. Obviously this is a lot thinner than what the pencil is, so I just feel like you can really get into the lash line with it. And I don't want to do like a really thick one, um, I want to just literally just line it quite close to the lash line just to give it a bit of smoky smoke just done this eye off camera because i wasn't actually too sure what i was going to do i'm just taking a little bit of highlighter now this is the nars frenzy highlighter it's just kind of like a goldy highlighter can i say the word highlighter anymore um and i'm just going to press that on just in the centre, just so we're starting to get a little bit of shimmer in that centre bit. We will go over this black line, so don't worry if you feel like there's a glitter going on there, it is fine. This is Gatsby from Peaches and Cream, really popular one. It's a gorgeous kind of sparkly champagne gold glitter, well it's more of a pigment. So I'm just taking that, just on a little brush, and I'm just going to start tapping that on. Just in the centre bit. I don't want this to be like a thick line of glitter. You kind of want the glitter to be a lot softer and disperse a little bit. So I'm just still using a fluffy one. And we want to make sure we're taking that up right up to the brow bone. Now throughout this, I am gonna keep dipping back in to my eyeshadow shades that I used. Just keep going on the outer bit, just to kind of get ready, get ready, get rid of any glitter that does fall onto that. And also just to make sure you're keeping that center bit nice and tight and compact so it's not spilling over. So I'm then going to go in with my second glitter, which is from MAC. This is MAC Reflex Gold. So I'm just going to start building up the different types of glitter, but I'm using all really fine glitters, nothing too big. Again, I'm going to tap that on, but mainly the bottom section. I'm not going to bring that up too high. The take is actually a lip gloss. This is from MUA. It's a really, really cheap lip gloss. It is called Aurora Shine, but it is just kind of like a clear lip gloss with loads of glitter in. So I'm going to use a bit of this for kind of the wet look vibe. 
Um, obviously just be careful with this around your eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and I'm gonna add it to the inner corner. And also I'm gonna add it just to the top part here because I feel like her makeup was very kind of glossy at the top, kind of a bit wet look. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in the center just to give it that wet vibe. The lashes that I'm using, they're called Perfect from Prima Lashes. I don't wanna go with anything like too big because um, again, I don't feel like they wear like really thick lashes. Okay, so they are on, the glue's just drying. I just say I have got a top on, I am not naked. But I'm gonna do all like the mm, nice skin and I don't wanna get it all over my club. So my hair's up like this because I have washed it. I'm going all out for you today, guys. I'm even gonna do the wet hair, so it's up because it's like obviously soaking wet and a bit of a mess. So we're gonna take that down in a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. This is the Origins ultra hydrating energy boosting cream <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna put that on like this mm, this smells amazing literally so good lots of oranges so i'm gonna give my face a good prep today because i mean kim k vibes eye cream i'm going to go in with is the aveda energizing eye cream just gonna pop a little bit of that on as well i'm actually going to go in with this this is a smash box petal metal shimmer spray and this is like glowy 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 really nice um, you can just like obviously spray it all on your face, but I don't want to get it all on the eyes and stuff So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this Just spray some on the skin and this gives like a really gorgeous glow to the skin. So I will spray this On my body as well, but just do the face and then the last thing I'm gonna go ahead is the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is in radiant bronze again going all out with the glow today oh shoot that has just literally gone everywhere uh, and again just gonna blend that in so the foundation i'm going in with is my favorite it is the nars natural radiant beautiful beautiful foundation this is the shade barcelona i love this so much I'm just gonna blend all this in. This is just honestly, like, I swear, I just can't, I can't use another foundation. I absolutely love this so much. This is an amazing brush. This is the Buff and Blend BB03. Oh, I really like this brush. My foundation, I think it's really, really nice. And then gonna go in with the NARS concealer. This is in the shade Custard. This is the one in the pot and this lasts so much longer than the one in like the like, tube thing. Just gives like literally, it's like airbrush skin them two products together it is so good and also i've got another nars product which is amazing the new i don't know if it's new it's new for me anyway their um powder it is amazing honestly it's so, so i'm gonna do a bit of cream contour with the bobby brown foundation stick I'm gonna do a bit of contour on my nose today. I did actually do a video. Oh fuck, you know, you like shove your whole nail in. Um, I have actually done a video, like an in depth contour video, and I cream contoured in that. So I will link that down below um, because it's like a full in depth video on that. This 
So this is the powder I was on about and this will be perfect for this look because I'm literally not going to use any powder today. I don't like to set the face and use loads of powder anyway. I really like dewy skin. I don't like that cakey powdery look. Obviously if someone's got really oily skin you do have to set them areas but with this. So this is the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder pressed everything is so fucking long to say um yeah so this is the nars powder and it's like it's not loose it's like a pressed powder but when you set your face with this like it says it in it's like a light reflecting one so it sets it but it still leaves like that dewy finish on the skin so i love this because normally like when you set your face your face just goes a bit dull um with this like it doesn't it just kind of lightly sets the foundation but it still gives all that glowiness come through i'm just plugging nars today like i've got all nars products pretty much on my face and they're so good go in with some more powder contour using my fave um bronzer this is the dark tan from mac I'm just gonna apply this like where we already put the cream contour but i'm just gonna kind of darken it all and then i definitely feel like she has got quite a bit of blusher on so i'm gonna go in with mac peaches i'm gonna apply that and then I'm going to switch to the Huda Beauty uh, 3D Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to use Zanzibar. This is unreal. I have been loving this so much recently. It is like a blusher, but with like highlight in it. So you get like this gorgeous, like pinky glow to the skin. I'm going to go under my eyes with the Burnt Orange shade. First of all. I'm just gonna run that black eyeliner on the back of my hand and I'm gonna just lightly apply some of that underneath. Honestly, it's so much easier to do this rather than to apply it like directly. I'm gonna apply some highlight and I'm gonna go in with that NARS shade Frenzy again. So like this is a bit now where we just go like friggin insane and we just put it everywhere. Now we're going to take the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette and I'm going to go in with her cream um, highlighter which is called Fiji. Now normally you would put that on as like a base and then the powder one on top to set it. But obviously we want this to look more like wet so yeah we're gonna do it the other way so we're gonna add a bit of cream so we're gonna actually apply that like on top okay so i'm just applying that everywhere where we put the cream on i feel like she had like quite a dark lip liner with do you know what she's probably gonna post like a close-up photo tomorrow and i'm gonna be so off she's gonna have like friggin green eyes or something and i've just interpreted it so wrong but we're gonna go in with a darker lip liner and then a lighter kind of gloss on the lips that's what i feel like she's done here so i'm gonna take los angeles from nick Um, this is kind of like a darker nude. It's my favourite lip liner anyway. Give it this Zoeva liquid lip called Unrefined, which is like a really nice lighter nude. But this is so lovely. Like it's like, um, I'm not going to say moist, I hate that word. It's like a creamy liquid lip, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't dry horrible. Oh, 
actually, I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this. Probably got a bit of eyeshadow on it, but oh well. This is from MUA, the Aurora Shine. Again, this is literally like two pound. But it is a good gloss. It does make it tingle a little bit. I'm gonna set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish. Oh, spray all that. Okay, so skin. I am going to spray some of that Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. And I'm gonna just kind of blend that in. Her chest was like very kind of wet looking. Now I'm not even gonna to attempt to do the Kim K like cleavage thing because it's just not gonna happen for me. Not gonna happen. So we're gonna just go with like her really highlight highlighted like seriously. These are like two of my heads put together. Amazing. So we're pretty much just gonna put a load of highlighter on. I'm just doing a bit of glow glow. I'm just kind of like adding those things. So I am not as dark as Kimmy K. I have got blonde bits in my hair. So yeah, here we have the finish. Look, I am so happy with how this turned out. Don't come for me in the comments. I know I'm not Mario. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this look turned out. It's really nice for me to try like, something really different as well because I've never kind of done a look like this on myself. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, and please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.